Hello, Dancing Starlight here. Let's talk about Honey Pop 2. It's fun, it's beautiful, it sounds amazing, and it's extremely difficult. Now, if you've seen my other videos on Honey Pop, you'll know I love analyzing the Honey Pop girls, seeing what makes them tick, and most importantly, what makes them absolutely wifey material. So today, I want to prove to you why Ashley is undeniably the sexiest waifu in Honey Pop 2 and the characteristics that make her so irresistibly attractive. And it boils down to three main points. She is attractive and accepting of you, her baggage isn't even that bad, and she genuinely loves you. So what do I mean by, by saying that Ashley is attractive and accepting of you? So to begin with, Ashley receives one of the best introductions in the entire game, which illustrates a lot about her character. I'll just play it for you, and I'll let you know my thoughts at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet you are, you animal. <sighs> Listen, I'd love to stick around and watch your dick shrink, but I got a split. I have a crazy early flight tomorrow. My boss is sending me out to some island for an exotic shoot. Then I'm supposed to meet up with this Teleuber chick for a cross promo we've been planning. <sighs> it's not easy being a world class fashion model, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> Now, where did you throw my clothes? Ah, there they are. Well, aren't you at least gonna walk me back to my car? Oh god, forget you man. Last time I asked you for anything. Later, sweet cheeks. Keep that thing nice and hard for me for when I get back. So what do we learn from this? Ashley introduces the entire game by you having sex with her and coming inside of her while she orgasms. She also likes you enough to have sex with you regularly. From this opening scene, we can see that she's physically attractive with a body to die for and she's beautiful with tussled and vibrant hair. And that lingerie, it's so sensual. Can I just take a second to talk about that lingerie? It's this set of garter belts, stockings, and lace, with this filigree pattern adorning her breasts. The lingerie is so delicate and impractical, uh, with floral motifs that serve no functional purpose, but that is what makes it sexy. It's the idea of being a delicate and beautiful flower, teasing by revealing the skin underneath but hiding her feminine charms. It accentuates her body and brings your attention down to her thighs and around her breasts with these lacy adornments. And the sheer pantyhose which shows you just a taste of the skin underneath. That is why I fell in love with Ashley's outfit. Because it's captivating, it's sexy, it's daring, it's embodying the characteristics that I love about Ashley. It also shows off how Ashley is so attractive. Now, let's look at her pose. Arms spread, exposing her breasts and body. This pose conveys that she's confident, relaxed, and sexy. It's also reminiscent of modeling and posing for a camera because that's what she does. It's also symbolic that she carries this pose from her modeling into her life, not being afraid to stand up for herself, and is effortlessly graceful and striking. And that just drives me crazy for Ashley. I love a girl who is confident in herself, and someone who is relaxed and willing to forgive for small mistakes. Someone who doesn't take herself too seriously and is charming and witty. 
As a quick summary of everything we learned about Ashley from this introduction, she's a world-class model. She's in sexy as all hell lingerie. Doesn't, she doesn't object to having sex with you. In fact, she enjoys it and your company. She is in a pre-existing intimate relationship with you. She's funny, likes teasing her partner, and likes that in her partner. Now, let's take a quick second uh, to take a breather and dissect all of that information. First, who doesn't want a world-class model as your girlfriend? I mean, I would love hearing about the exhilarating novelty of such an exciting career, but also seeing sexy images of your girlfriend online would be just so arousing. Even more so, knowing that she's co so coveted by so many others, but she chooses to spend her time with you. However, there's another reason why I love Ashley as a model. As humans, how we access uh, attractiveness is through a, through, through a uh, few key criteria. The ability to provide, being passionate, caring and interesting, and physical beauty. For instance, uh, women and men who are more, are more likely to be attracted to a woman or man that is famous, successful, and has a higher income because they are a source of stability. That is just the way it works. If we just examine Ashley through this definition of attractiveness, as a world-class model, Ashley certainly can provide for herself. However, what I love about her most as a model is her passion and motivation to do something with her life, as it is something that I value. So I really admire when someone is passionate about something and devotes time and effort to accomplish it. Having said that, Ashley is definitely passionate and motivated, having obtained such an illustrious career. She also fulfills the other aspects of attractiveness. Ashley is interesting, having such a remarkable career, but also starting a punk band with a few of her friends. She is also witty and adorable and has some of the best dialogue in the entire game. For instance... Yes, I am awesome. Oh wait, that wasn't your question? Um, dude, stalk much? <laughs> what in the fuck are you doing here? Don't even try to give me that shit. You knew I was coming out here, didn't you? Dude, if you wanted to fly out here with me, all you had to do was ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet you are, you animal. Yes, Ashley, I'm an animal just for you. I just love how she teases and flirts with you, making her enjoyable to be around. She also states, just make sure you keep things interesting, okay? Otherwise, I might have to go find somebody who can. From this, we can see that Ashley places a high value on keeping things interesting in a partner. So it is unsurprising that she herself lives an interesting life and is an interesting person. Now, onto the next criteria for attractiveness. Physical beauty. Now, it's pretty clear that Ashley is sexually attractive and it comes with her being a successful model. Not to mention, she says, I like to head over to the free weight section and show the big boys how it's done. <laughs> so she's actively, uh, physically active and fit. Uh, this is also confirmed through the gorgeous art by Kopian Gent. Her default outfit alone is one of the best outfits in the game, in my opinion. The tied up shirt gives an ample view of her cleavage and bra. And that shirt with the collar gets me so hot and bothered because it's so stylish as an expensive dress shirt which is enhanced by the logo that almost resembles the Playboy bunny. It's like she's modeling a set of clothing for a shoot. She's just hella fashionable and physically attractive. And as if that sh she wasn't physically attractive enough, the absolutely fantastic voice acting by Shella just brings her to life. Can you guess the name I gave to my vibrator? Holy shit, that is actually really close. I call him Thumper. Damn, good guess. Quickie pick, duh. 
I don't like to brag, but, uh... <clears throat> two million followers and counting. Thanks! You're gonna feed it to me too? <laughs> she has this really sexy London City Girl accent, which I cannot get enough of. Sheila has a really pleasant lilt to her voice, and I think it adds to the character. Because she sounds like she's kind of a high-class, teasing and energetic girl. Interesting tidbit is the voice actor for Ashley was changed during production, from Aiko Intong to Shella. And you can really see the difference that just changing the voice actress made. Take a listen to Aiko Intong's take on Ashley. How big is your dick? You seem like you have a big dick. Not bad. I mean, you know, for you. Alright, but I hope you like carpet because I haven't shaved in weeks. <laughs> so if you think about uh, what she's saying, it's, it sounds a lot more like she's a tomboy. She hasn't shaved in weeks, she's kind of crude and messy. From the voice acting, you can infer that her character is bratty and high-pitched. I think that Shella's voice acting really brings a different vibe, being a lot more teasing, a little bit posh, which I think kind of matches uh, Ashley's theme of being a sexy fashion model. And overall, I do also love the different tone that Aiko and Tom brought. Okay, so the last criteria of attractiveness that I wanted to talk about, which also leads into how Ashley is accepting of you and is caring. So this is an interesting one, uh, because through the introduction, you can see that Ashley enjoys your company. So she already loves you at least a little bit, enough to at least have sex with you on a regular basis. However, Ashley doesn't place a lot of importance on sex. As she says, You should consider yourself lucky, you know. Normally I get bored of people pretty quick. This implies that she often has a casual, uh, has casual one night stands with others, and this relationship between you and her is something that she's familiar with. Nonetheless, I do think that she does care about you, from her teasing remarks, how she's kind to you, and doesn't have any ulterior motives, unlike Brooke, who is just after your money. And she obviously likes your company, as she asks you to assist her in her cross-promo video with Polly, and invites you to see her in uh, the free time she has on the island. So overall, we can guess that uh, Ashley fulfills most of the criteria for being attractive, and before the game starts, already has a friendly relationship with you, and is accepting of you as a person, which makes her the perfect girlfriend. The next point I wanted to discuss is how Ashley's baggages um, aren't even that bad. The thing with Honey Pop is it creates intentionally flawed characters. It creates characters which are so obviously broken, uh, both for comedic effect, but also to accentuate the characters they are supposed to embody. For instance, Audrey is scarred from her previous relationships with others, so she doesn't let people get close to her. Jessie is a mother, so, so enamored uh, with fame that she has forgotten what is most important in her life, her daughter. And Nora has been hurt by the abandonment of her father and those who she would consider her friends, so she's hesitant to make relationships with others. And now the first lesson you need to learn about character writing is that flaws are your best friend. If I wanted to be artsy and poetic about it, as with lighting 3D models, shadows reveal form. So if you just have flat lighting illuminating your whole model, you can't see all the little details in your model. You can't tell that a sphere is a sphere, because you can't see its 3D shape. And what I mean by that metaphor is the flaws in a character reveal the cracks and crevices in a character that make them seem more grounded. By putting such a huge spotlight on flaws, we can relate on a personal level to the characters so much more. And if I need to say it in one line for Ashley, it's that she ne just needs someone to be there for her and to convince her that marriage isn't so bad. Her fear of commitment is something that you can sympathize with. 
being afraid to let others close to your heart and makes her character feel genuine. So her three baggages are commitment issues, easily bored, and allergies. So first up, allergies. Who cares? You think I would throw, throw away a perfectly good waifu because she has allergies? The main one is that Ashley has commitment issues, which relates to her being easily bored. And the line that demonstrates this best is when you ask Ashley, what is your favorite thing to do on a Friday night? Like you don't know, letting someone take me out so I can get some free food and some free dick. We know that she uses the word someone, implying you're not the only one she has casual sex with. Not only is she afraid of marriage, but she implies that she's in casual sex buddy relationships with other people while dating you because she is easily bored and values novelty. And there is this doubt, if Ashley is in multiple relationships, what if Ashley likes another partner more than you? Now, first things first, these relationships Ashley has with other partners are casual relationships. And I don't think I can complain after doing the same thing and having sex with like 22 girls, including the Nymphogen across Honey Pop 1 and 2. Second, if it ever came to Ashley liking another partner more than me, I wouldn't begrudge whoever she loved. I would rather she be with someone that is perfect for her and makes her happy. I wouldn't want her to stay committed to me if someone else was actually better for her. However, it doesn't even come to that because we can see that Ashley likes the protagonist. Which brings me to my final point that I want to prove which is that Ashley genuinely loves you. And this conversation you have with her demonstrates this. You should consider yourself lucky, you know. Normally I get bored of people pretty quick. I'm actually kind of surprised you managed to keep my interest for this long. <laughs> yeah, you're special, all right. Just make sure you keep things interesting, okay? Otherwise, I might have to go find somebody who can. As you can see, even Ashley jokingly admits that you are special to her as an outlier, a partner that she hasn't yet grown tired of, and it hints that she might consider settling down with you, something that she's always been afraid of. However, there's a lot more hints that show Ashley loves you. Throughout the game, Ashley calls you Sweet Cheeks, and when asked about it, she says, Do you have any nicknames that people call you? <laughs> Don't worry, that just means I like ya. Besides, those cheeks are pretty sweet. So it's confirmed that she is quite fond of you. I mean, she has a copious amount of, th of threesomes uh, with you, So, and I don't think she'd do that with anyone. It's because she actually does like you. But why is that? That we can refer to Zoe's assessment of Ashley which we can reliably say is the one source of truth that we can trust within Honey Pop 2. Because Zoe often breaks the fourth wall and is kind of the omniscient narrator. Growing ever more tired of life's routine and monotony, she seeks new challenges and exciting risks. I had a strong feeling you were going to know this name. And you offer that for her. Judging from your apartment, uh, with a view of the city skyline and your ability to have threesomes with so many girls, you offer luxury, charm, and above all else, excitement for her. And I can agree uh, with that because I love excitement and novelty as well. So how could you not love someone who already loves you before the game even starts? She's basically already your waifu. And I get it, it would have been uh, a lot of effort to make her like you, but I think Ashley is worth it. As for her fear of commitment, I don't believe Ashley is opposed to marriage. I think she hasn't met the special person for her that could be there for her and support her dreams until she found the main character in Honey Pop 2. And I, I love the idea that Ashley would be unable to stop herself from falling in love uh, with the main character and could eventually overcome her fear of commitment by marrying the protagonist as the best waifu 
of all time. And that's it. In summary, Ashley is the undeniably the sexiest waifu in Honey Pop because she is physically attractive and thrilling to be around. She's already familiar with you and enjoys your company and her baggage isn't even that bad and she genuinely loves you. But most of all, I wanted to explain why I fell hopelessly in love with this cutie. Why I love the way she looks, the way she talks, the way she dresses, why I want to kiss her and support her in any, in any way possible, and how much I want to marry her because she's simply lovely. Now thank you for being here, you are my lifeblood, dancing starlight. <laughs>